on, bro. Wow, yo, that's actually crazy. Today we are talking all about the Great Conjunction. The Great Conjunction. You can see this conjunction for a few more nights. A real once in a lifetime event. So, getting ready for this once in a lifetime experience. I have actually bought a laser guided find a scope for my telescope, which makes it a lot more easier for me to find an object in the night sky. Uh, I have bought a Barlow lens, I have bought T-ring, I have been preparing this whole month. And this happens. Those hot and humid temperatures whipped up thunderstorm activity over the northeast of our state. The unreliable Sydney weather. So on 21st of December, I was not able to capture anything. So in my Starwalk app, I was able to see that on 22nd of December, the conjunction would be still available throughout the whole day within the few arc seconds. So my brother and I, we picked up a spot uh, in the NSW area where the, there was least amount of clouds. So we drove 150 kilometers, we packed up all our stuff and we were actually able to find a clear patch of skies where we were able to see the planets. And even though in the evening time, it was still bright enough, uh, I was able to set up the whole telescope and here's what we recorded. All right, guys, so we can see the uh, planets perfectly aligned now through the eyepiece. Even the clouds have disappeared now. So I'm just going to put the DSLR with the DSLR mount. Let's see. It's not actually on top of each other. All right, guys, so we are just trying to align. Maybe not. Can you just hold the camera on top of it? And when you see something slim, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. So, um, go back. That's it, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Down a bit. Can you see both? Mm, can't see anything. <laughs> there you go. There, no, no, no. That's it. I can see one. All right. So let me, let me, let me come here. Fill the flash. Hang on, hang on. So we can see. So that's Jupiter, and that's there you go. Saturn coming in the frame. Oops. And I'm trying to make sure that there's no wobble. And I'll share the screen um, as a side screen in the editing of the video. Um, and I'm just trying to focus a tad bit more. That's going to focus. Isn't it getting a lot brighter now? Look at that. So as the sun's going even further down. Yeah, as it gets darker. So as it gets darker, we see a lot better. So during that night, luckily, the clouds in front of the moon also disappeared. So I pointed the telescope towards the moon in order to get the focuser exactly sharply focused. And I was actually able to see there was a lot more air turbulence when we were, uh, when we were recording the video for, for moon. Um, so the video which you'll see for Jupiter and Saturn is a lot more blurrier, the actual footage, the live footage. So what I have done is I have looked it up online and I have went through this software called auto stacking and I have been able to stack the images of um, Jupiter and Saturn. It, it actually took me a long while to, to stack these images, but I'm going to put it towards the end of this video. Enjoy.